rip down third base. What a catch! What a catch! What a catch! And he can kiss that one goodbye. That's a two-run bomb. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Hey, good evening, sports fans, and welcome to the Gulf Coast Sports Network. Thanks for joining us tonight. We have a great matchup on plan for this evening as the Ascenders of the IMG Academy Gold take on the Hurricanes of Bishop McLaughlin. Alongside Derek Smith, I'm Brian Lott, and we'll bring you tonight's game. Derek, it's, been, it's hard to believe that we're right at halfway of the season, and both of these teams have started to find their grooves on the field. So give us a quick rundown of these two squads. Yeah, thanks, Brian, and thanks for joining us here tonight on the Gulf Coast Sports Network. The Ascenders of IMG Gold come into tonight's game having won four of their last five. They anchored the plate by two seniors in Lesh and Lombardo and a pitching staff with a combined ERA of 1.85 and 60 Ks on the season. As for the Hurricanes, they come into tonight riding a four-game winning streak. They're anchored at the plate by a trio of juniors in Jacobs, Quizdela, and Rodriguez, and the pitching staff comes into tonight's game with a combined ERA of 2.95 and 86 Ks on the year. Thank you, Derek, for the rundowns of both of these squads. As a great evening of baseball action awaits, it's a great time to hit the subscribe button now. Toss us a like our way as well. So stay tuned. We'll have the Divinity Med Spa starting lineup and first pitch coming up next on the Gulf Coast Sports Network. Welcome to the Clubhouse, Tampa Bay's premier baseball and softball training facility. Our 11,000 square foot training facility features rentable cages and bullpen lanes, along with the newest technology such as Hitrax and Rapsodo, baseball and softball pitching machines, full gym and plyo area, all to keep you at the top of your game. We also have a fully stocked baseball and softball pro shop carrying the biggest brands such as Marucci, Rawlings, Easton, DeMarini, Wilson, and many more. If you're in need of training, we also have the area's top professional. And now, your Divinity Med Spa starting lineup. The Divinity Med Spa starting lineup. First for the IMG Ascenders. Batting first, playing third base, Angelo Nunez. Batting second, first base, number 11, Roberto Gadola. Batting third, catcher, number 17, Nate Lynn. Batting fourth, DH, number 28, Trenton Lombardo. Batting fifth, right fielder, number 34, Scott Yang. Batting sixth, second baseman, number six, Brendan Ugalora. Batting seventh, center fielder, number three, Kenyatta Parker. Batting eighth, left fielder, number 27, Sebastian, Sebastian Perez. Batting ninth, shortstop, Brody Welburn, and on the mound tonight is number 32, Keegan Koloff, and the head coach for the seniors is D. Brown. For your homestanding Bishop McLaughlin Hurricanes, batting first, shortstop, number 22, Giovanni Castellano, batting second, third base, number 11, Christopher Bell, batting third, catcher, number eight, Chris Rodriguez, batting fourth, center fielder, number one, Anthony Savarese. Batting fifth, left fielder, number two, Keith Jacobs. Batting sixth, your first baseman, number 29, Caden Johnson. 
Batting seventh in the DH spot, number six, Matt Altman. Batting eighth, right fielder, number four, Dominique Zito. Batting ninth, your second baseman, number three, Aiden Fox. And on the mound for the Hurricanes is your pitcher, number nine, Stan Pazic. And head coach is Rob Goosey. So, Derek, we look like we're getting underway. They're announcing the Bishop lineup, and it looks like we'll probably have a pause for the national anthem here in a few minutes. But a uh, beautiful day of baseball this evening. Oh, gorgeous and, day uh, today. Absolutely. Looking for a good night here. Yeah, it should be a fun one for sure. Like you said, both teams coming in, uh, kind of finding their groove, learning ways to win here about halfway through the season. So this is going to be a fun one see who comes out on top. It will. It ought to be a good dogfight here tonight. Uh, as we talked about earlier, ING's coming in here winning four of their last five, and and the Hurricanes have uh, won four in a row themselves. So um, they're looking to looking to fight it out here tonight. Both so teams we'll trying take to a, keep their winning ways up. That's exactly right. We'll take a quick break and do the national anthem. So we'll be right back. All right, let's play ball. We'll start off, we'll go through the battery for and the defensive setup for the Hurricanes. On the mound is Pazic, catcher is Rodriguez, Bell is at third, Castellano is at short, Fox is at second, Johnson at first, Jacobs in left, Savaris in center. And Zito in right to get this game started. Yo, Derek, it looks like we're going to 
maybe early here in this game until this sun sets a little bit with this time change. Uh, that ball hit over there in the left field. I know it's tough on us over here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, looking back that way, so. Or maybe a play down the line yeah. coming home, third base to home. That's going to be a tough view to see. Yep, especially for your catcher right now. But like you said, only through the first couple innings, yep. really, that'd be an issue. That sun will get all the way down. You can see there in our camera kind of what they're yeah, working yeah. with here yeah. down that third base line. And we'll get it started off here with IMGA, IMG, uh, third baseman. Angelo Nunez. And it looks like we do periodically get a, a delay a little bit in the broadcast on a couple of the cameras. So please bear with us and see if we can't get that taken care of. Hopefully yeah, that'll we'll clear try to up get here that solved for you. But we're, we're set for a good battle right here. First pitch rises high inside for ball one. Let me give him a real good look at that fastball. Fastball just misses high. Yeah, just high there. Middle of the plate. I guess as that first batter, you know, you want to take a couple of pitches, make that pitcher work a little bit early here in the game. and Takes one there for a strike. Thought about shortening yep. it up, maybe. Yep, looked like he squared around the bunt there, and uh, I think he's making the pitcher do a little work here early. Got a 2-1 pitch. Fastball high and outside. 3-1. A good, good at bat for leadoff hitter Nunez. Making Pasek find the zone here, not reaching too far out, making him bring him something over the plate. Gets into a good hitter's count. Fastball in there. They will curve one right down the middle. Strike two. That's the pitch you're looking for, right Absolutely. down the middle. Knee Absolutely. Knee high. Absolutely. Pazic did a good job coming back on that for a, got us a 3-2 payoff pitch here. That battle's off full to start this game off. And Nunez calls time. Reset here, 3 2 pitch. Foul ball. Foul back out of play. Back out of play. Nunez is doing a good job here. Lead off and seen six pitches here. Looking to try to get on base here early in the game. Fastball high inside. Almost caught Nunez for ball was, four. Yeah, that was a good battle there. Great job, Nunez, working a walk, getting on. Great at bats, all seven pitches there. It brings up your first baseman, Roberto Godola. Go 
Play ball misses outside. Yeah, he's having a hard time locating that fastball. He is. At least he take a little off, and he got that, you know, 3-0 pitch over 3-1. But trying to throw it with, with velocity, he's having a hard time locating. Start the ball game. The pickoff move back to first. Nunez back in safe. Looks like most of his pitches are missing to the his right there, the left of the catcher. Everything was inside. That yeah, he yeah, over to Nunez. that righty batter's box. It's kind of where he's missing. He almost hit Nunez twice. Yep. A couple inside fastballs. Another pickoff. Nunez not taking an incredible lead over there, but he's definitely paying attention to him. You would think Nunez has got some speed that being the leadoff batter here. So Absolutely. Pazic's and he just kind of has that to look to too, keep right? Him, keep a little close. wiry. We got a 1 0 count here on Godola. Ball misses high. 2 0. Fastball misses outside. 3 0. Nagadola really making him throw him, throw him a strike Both here. Both of them have done a good job. He... Just being patient to start this ball game. <laughs> Fastball in there for strike one. When he's got to get it, he can find it. Yep. It's crazy how pitchers pitch and they get a 3-0 count, and by half a chance, they find a way to get it right down they, the middle. They're, just, that, they're that. able to find that zone real <laughs> quick right there. He had him leaning there for a minute, but Nunez was able to get back. I believe that's his fourth pickoff move so yeah. far. So. Yeah, he's really garnered a fair amount of attention over there. Bishop's wanting to try to keep him there at first to hopefully get a double play here. Got a hitter's count. 3-1 pitch. And he's going. Fastball high for ball four. So back-to-back -back walks. Start the game. So the Ascenders, like you said, have two walks here. First two batters get on base. Rodriguez goes out to Pazic and... Talks to him a little bit just to settle him down. Yeah, I mean, you know, nothing hurt, really. You got a bunch yep. of outs here on the infield. Looks like we're going to have a mound visit. Coach Rob Ducey is going to go out and visit with them as well. So we'll take a small break. We'll be right back. Reasons we've been so successful at Divinity Med Spa is because we understand what people are looking for. They want to look good for their age. We can accomplish this by treatments such as Botox, filler, lasers, and an array of facials. Hernando County's only locally owned and operated med spa. Come see us. All right, just calming everybody down out there, telling them you're fine. Because really, I mean, there, there are a fair amount of outs to get here on the infield, double play, a couple places. Uh, yeah, you man. get a ball on the ground, you know, you got two outs, one on. Now you can just go after the hitter and You're exactly right. get real, past it. Real quick, you can end up with two outs and no worse than a man on third here. Right. Potentially get out of the inning, so. Brings up your catcher, Nate Lynn. Nobody out. Top half for the first inning. Fastball hit. Line drive to left field. Coach waves in Nunez. The plate throw comes in, but not in time. 
So great piece, of, great piece of hitting by Lynn to the left fielder and was able to score Nunez yeah, from second base. Absolutely. Great piece of hitting. Wasn't trying to do too much with it. Got a pitch he could handle. Barrel out in front over the shortstop into left field. And obviously we saw Nunez's speed there on display, scoring from second easily, standing up. Now to bring up your DH, Trenton Lombardo. First and second again, still nobody out. One Looks like in we already. We do have a pinch runner at first for our catcher. Looks like number 12, Clark Corlew. So Corlew's there at first as a pinch, pinch runner. Pazic runs in. Fastball high and outside for ball one on Lombardo. <laughs> A ball hit high in the air towards center field. Savarese is calling for it. Makes the play. For the first out. There you go. Now double play. Get you out of this inning only with one well, in. That's exactly right. That's a, That would be considered a win in my books. Yeah, I would agree. I would absolutely agree. That was a, that was a big out for them. Knock up to bat is your right fielder, Scott Yang. Fastball high. One and oh. So fastball hit foul down the left field line. Even the count, one and one. One out, one in. Top of the first. Two on for IMG. Trying to continue the scoring. Like a little slider there, kind of tailed yeah. a little bit. Yeah, tailed a little too far off the plate. Just, just a missing. Bit outside. Just missed the outside corner. Runs a count two and one. It's a good pitch, though. Start it right on the edge of the plate and let it tail off. <laughs> Foul ball out of play. It runs a count two and two. You got Lynn at second and pinch runner Corlew at first. And one run in here in the top half of the first inning. Harvey I single the catcher, Lynn. That curveball misses. Just missing high, just I high. imagine. Did not break as much as he was anticipating. It runs a count to three and two. Bunch of deep counts this inning. IMG's been able to work. And they're running. Not a pop fly. Looks like it might stay in play here. Rodriguez trying to go back and couldn't quite come up with it. It's a good try. You know, it's it's difficult as oh, a catcher. Oh, that's a very tough play for a catcher. To, that ball was hit very high in the air. That was hit high in the air and to be able to get turned around and get set up on it. I mean, he did go um, after it really the right way, turned his back to the infield and let it kind of come back to yep. him. It just came back a little a little more dramatically than he had anticipated. But good effort. Count remains three and two, however. The runners were on on that pitch, so you wonder if the coach will send them again. 
Might have tried a little hit and run there with a 3-1 count. Swing, Swing and, a miss. and a miss on the outside edge. Let that slider just run all the way off the table. Yep. Ed Yang kind of in uh, swing mode there. That brings up your second baseman, Brendan Legorio. Two outs. Fastball high. One and oh. Another ball high. You know, he's really set him up inside, and we've seen the slider on display to, you know, let that slider work inside and break across the plate. I mean, they, they've seen him miss inside, inside, inside. If he just starts throwing sliders at him and let him break to the inside corner, might get a couple of called strikes there. That's fouling out of play. Yeah, you're right, Derek. Uh, a lot of his sliders have been on the outside corner. Right. Was able to get the punch out in the last batter. But if he did move that ball in a little bit. Um, I bet you they'd give up on it yep. pretty early. So they've seen his control issues with the fastball to start this game. Got a 2-1 pitch. Ball low. Runs a count three and one here. Two outs, top half of the first inning. Bunch of pitches. Inning. They really have made him work this inning they have. so far. It's currently at 28, 26 pitches. Got a... Each of the batters have run a, um, almost a full count. Yeah, know, yeah, at least. Done a good job. Other making him throw Other than Lynn, who jumped on the first pitch he saw yep. for an RBI single, pretty much everybody's been able to work really deep into these counts. There's another one. That fast, fastball missed it outside there. So we load the bases. For your center fielder. Kenyatta Parker. Parker's looking to open this thing wide open here early here in the first inning. He can hit him a gapper here. They'll at least get two runs, two more runs in. So, Absolutely. Everybody's going to be going with two outs as soon as that ball's hit. The ball misses outside for ball one. Another one outside. Ball two. Looks like the Hurricanes got a pitcher warming up there in the bullpen. Not sure, quite sure who it is. But. Yeah, I can't really see from this angle. That fastball misses just outside. Ball three. I believe it's Tyler Pizzo that's warming up there in the bullpen. Pazic looking, trying to get out of here. Got a 3-0 count. Bases loaded. Nowhere for Parker to go. Still two outs in this inning. Only one in so far. That ball Two in outside. now. Quick, we're going to get a uh, another mound visit here. So we'll we'll take a break. We'll be back after this. Navy SEAL veteran and endurance athlete Don Mann pushed his body to the limit and tried regenerative medicine when all other options failed. It's unbelievable. I just assumed I was going to be in pain forever, and I've been in pain since the 80s. Now I'm running and riding a bicycle faster than I have in seven years. Even my vision is better. I'm 100% pain-free right now, and I don't take any medications. 
Call Aligned Integrative Medicine for exam and x-rays to see if you qualify for regenerative treatment. Welcome to the Clubhouse, Tampa Bay's premier baseball and softball training facility. Our 11,000 square foot training facility features rentable cages and bullpen lanes, along with the newest technology such as Hitrax and Rapsodo, baseball and softball pitching machines, full gym and plyo area, all to keep you at the top of your game. We also have a fully stocked baseball and softball pro shop carrying the biggest brands such as Marucci, Rawlings, Easton, DeMarini, Wilson, and many more. If you're in need of training, we also have the area's top professional instructors offering. Able to find it there. First pitch to Perez. So that brings up your left fielder, Sebastian Perez. So it runs a count one and one. That ball caught the outside Catches corner. Zone. Yeah, while we were on break, it uh, seemed like Pazic was having some issues maybe in his throat area. Uh, got him a little water and uh, got it back on the mound, and looks like uh, he's made an adjustment here. He absolutely has. Got two quick strikes here. A one-two pitch. Fastball hit to right field. Back goes Zito. Hit pretty well, too. Off of the fence. It's a three-run double. That was a three-run double for Perez. Zito did a good job of yeah, tracking that ball. Tracking that ball all the way. The ball did hit about three midways up the fence there. Half to three-quarter up the fence. And uh, great was, job there. Cleared the bases. Big power by Perez going yep. the other way. Got a five-nothing ball game here. Two outs. Blew that thing wide open. One pitch away from getting out of it with two. And that brings up your shortstop, Brody Welburn. That missed low. Ball, 2-0. Two, oh. two outs. One on after that three RBI double. Yep, by Perez. Hard ground ball to Johnson. Unassisted by himself to get the third out. but not before the IMG had two hits and scored five runs. We're moving to the bottom half of the first inning. One of the reasons we've been so successful at Divinity Med Spa is because we understand what people are looking for. They want to look rested, refreshed, good for their age. We can accomplish this by treatments such as Botox, filler, lasers, and an array of facials, all by a team of trusted experts. This is Divinity, Hernando County's only locally owned and operated med spa. Come see us. We can't wait to meet you. All right, we're back here, bottom half of the first inning. 
Pazic pitching there in the top half. He struggled a little bit, had a yeah. couple walks. And uh it came back to bite him, unfortunately. Perez had a had a base clear and double that cleared the bases loaded. Really got into one. Yep, did a good right job. Field. And uh we got a five oh ball game here, so Hurricanes are gonna try to come and fight back here. Yeah, they got their work cut out for them. So we'll go through the we'll go through the defensive setup here in just a second. But leading off for the Hurricanes is 22 Giovanni Castellano. So you got Koloff pitching, Lynn catching, Nunez at third, Welburn at short. That curveball misses high. You got you glory at second, Galado or Godola at Godola. first, Perez at left, Parker in center, and Yang in right. That fastball catches the outside corner. He runs the count one and one. That one misses on the outside corner. Two and one. Good velocity from Koloff to start this ball game off. That curveball. A little erratic. A little to, slip there. He's to the, the first hitter, but I'm a second to dial that in, I'm sure. Yeah, the, both of the curveballs he's tried to throw, he can't quite get the grip on it. So runs up a hitter's count here. That fastball catches the inside corner for strike two. Fights back, brings it full. Another full count Just on the other side. That fastball misses high. Not willing to chase that high fastball. Get a base runner on. It's a good way to start chipping away at that five-run lead. Yeah, exactly right. That brings up your third baseman, number 11, Christopher Bale. At this point, the Hurricanes are looking for base runners right now. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. Still so early in this ballgame. That's ball exactly game. right. That curveball missed just on the high side of the zone. Looked good to me. Yeah, it looked pretty good. To me as well. Uh, but I believe it must have crossed the plate just a little bit high. Kind of always has two two different curveballs, kind of a, a slurve and then a, a slower off speed one that breaks a little harder. Uh, that fastball, fastball able to find the location on there. Gotcha. Another fastball. Swing and a miss for Bell. Runs a count two and two. Runner on first. The pass ball there. Allowed Castellano to get to second base. Brings the count full again. This is a game of full count so far, Brian. It is. Seems like both pitchers so far are struggling a little bit here. That fastball missed low and outside. Good, good patient job, both of these teams. Start this off waiting for a pitch that they can handle. Both teams... Both first two batters, both of them had walk, so. Worked full counts. Yep. Brings up your catcher, number eight, Chris Rodriguez. Okay. The ball misses. Stayed in front of him. Uh, great. Graciano had a great read on that, is able to. 
Swipe second. Great and job by Lynn there to keep that ball blocked up and made a hard throw down to third, but Castellano was able to move over to third base. Yeah, he had a great read, good secondary, saw that ball low and instantly took off. And Had another pass ball there, and Castellano was able to score. Comes down the line, very aggressive on the bases, Hurricanes, to start this ballgame. They are. You wonder if Koloff's, as he come into this game, a couple of these pitches got away from him here lately. Looks like he might be trying to overthrow it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, trying to do a little too much, yep. really. To just go after, attack the hitters. And the Hurricanes is okay with that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. They're not they're not doing him any favors and just waiting until they get something they can handle, try to get a bat on it. Runner on third, nobody out. One in already. Got a 2-0 pitch. Curveball in there for strike one. He brought that down a little bit in his own and was able to Get the call from the umpire. Another one. The oh, last two pitches kind of found the feel on that curveball. Able to throw it for strikes. It runs the count even, two and two. There's a foul tip. Back to the back screen. Keeps the count even at two and two. Nobody out. Steady dose of curveball since that yep. mound visit. Fastball inside and Rodriguez, Rodriguez able was able to foul that off. Shoot it foul a little bit. Stays alive. Swing and a miss. Like Rodriguez was trying to run down the first, thought it was a drop third, but Lynn did catch that in the air to yeah. record the out. Yeah, so. and he verified again with the umpire, like you saw me catch that, right? Brings up your center fielder, number one, Anthony Savarese. Able to hold up. Well, curveball outside was able to hold up on that one. Runs the count one and oh. The ball hit. Oh. And Bell came down the baseline looking to try to run and score that run. And they held him up. And Lynn did a great job, threw a dart down to third base. Yeah, Koloff fielded that ball, took a quick look over there at third, kind of froze him for a second, completed the out to first. And that freeze was about all he needed to retreat back to third. Nice hard throw by Lynn, gets him. So that'll end the uh, first inning. 3 1 ball game, excuse me, 5 1 ball game. And we'll be back in a few. Welcome to the Clubhouse, Tampa Bay's premier baseball and softball training facility. Our 11,000 square foot training facility features rentable cages and bullpen lanes, along with the newest technology such as Hitrax and Rapsodo, baseball and softball pitching machines full gym and plyo area, all to keep you at the top of your game. We also have a fully stocked baseball and softball pro shop carrying the biggest brands such as Marucci, Rawlings, Easton, DeMarini, Wilson, and many more. If you're in need of training, we also have the area's top professional instructors offering hitting, pitching, fielding, and strength instruction for both baseball and softball players. 
From youth to professional athletes, the clubhouse has you covered. We are conveniently located one mile east of the Suncoast Parkway on Spring Hill Drive. Stop in and check us out. All right, welcome back. We're here in the top half of the second inning. We do have a pitching change. And coming in to pitch for the Hurricanes will be number 14, Tyler Pizzo. So Pazic closes out. He gave up five runs on two hits. And somewhere around 35 pitches, I believe it was. Yeah, it was it was high 30s. Yep. He ended up throwing that in, and good job by AMG really making him work. And those walks did come back to hurt him. <laughs> Comes in, able to find the zone. And that brings up. Back to the top of the order, your third baseman, Alangelo Angelo Nunez. That ball misses low. Evens up to count one and one. Ball runs inside. Two and one. That one misses low and inside. Another three and one. Three ball count, Brian. That fastball hit the outside corner, evens up to count three and two. Got to find a way to get some strikes early in the count. Yeah. Keep these uh, high count, these high pitches. That ground ball to Bale over to Johnson for out number one. And that brings up your first baseman. Roberto Godola. Godola walked his first at bat there in the first inning. That fastball missed just low. Have to imagine low there. It was, that was a nice placement. Really hoping to get a call for your Pizzo. That ball's hit high in the air towards second base. Fox retreats, and Savarez actually calls him off to get a quick two outs here. That's just what this Hurricanes defense needed. A couple of quick outs, get back up to the plate and try to chip away. They were able to get one in the first, hoping to add a couple more this next inning, you would imagine. That brings up your catcher, Nate Lynn. He had a line drive to left field, scored a run here in the first inning earlier. That curveball caught the outside corner. Strike one. Hard ground, hard line drive hit over the head of Savaris. Lynn motors into second base for a double. So Lynn, two for two on the day. He had that RBI single in the first and works a double here. That brings up your designated hitter, Trenton Lombardo. He popped out his first at bat.
Looks like we do have a pinch runner again. Clark Corley. Corley out there running. Is running for our catcher, Lynn, for IMG. That ball missed low. In the dirt, great job by Rodriguez to keep that ball there in front of him. Yeah, Lombardo watching that ball all the way in. Decides not to chase it. He sees it breaking away. That fastball connected. Yeah, he was able to pull the string there. Got Lombardo to swing right over the top. Yep. Nice pitch. Evens the count. One ball, one strike. Ball misses outside. Two and one. And line drive hit to right field, right at Zito for the third out of the inning. So Tyler Pizzo made a quick work there in the second inning. Did get a hit for IMG, but 5-1 ball game. We'll be back in a minute. Preparing for that next step in life isn't always easy. At Nautilus Financial Group, our combination of experience, professionalism, and access to a wide variety of products and services to help meet all of your financial goals. For a new level of attention, insight, and capability, contact the trusted team at Nautilus Financial Group. When you play football, you develop this mentality that you know you can uh, withstand anything. You, you're Mr. Tough Guy. Uh, so years I had been battling. I was just excited to finally meet someone who knew what I was going through, who saw my pain. To think that in a matter of one treatment, and it got better and better as I uh, began to get treatments throughout the month. You know, why would you deal with this pain for another day? All right, we're back here. Bottom half of the second inning. We have Jacob Johnson and Altman do up for the Hurricanes. That was a nice job in the top of the second by the Hurricanes. Not letting that double really bother them much. Able to get down to business, get some outs. Pizzo no came out in. and did a good job. Yeah, I think he yeah, had a 12-13 pitch in it, and they did get a double off of him, but it didn't hurt him on the scoreboard. So it brings up your left fielder, number two, Keith Jacobs. First pitch, ball one. That fastball missed high. Two and oh. And again, it really does just seem like he's trying to throw that pitch a little harder than yep. he needs to and ends up spiking it or missing way off to the to the glove side. That runs a count three and oh. That fastball connected. And Jacob still got a 
Hitters count here. That ball was fouled back out of play. A healthy cut there on that fastball. He runs a count three and two. That fastball runs high for ball four, and Hurricanes get the first runner on base here. And that brings up your first baseman, number 29, Caden Johnson. Again, Lynn goes out to Koloff. Maybe talking about with having a runner on first base on maybe a... Going over signs, maybe if he gets to second, what they're yep. going to do. That fastball goes high for ball one. That curveball comes in, misses low. Really patient here. Just waiting, waiting for him to bring something consistently in the zone. Hurricane's not willing to stretch it out. Curveball is working for him, though. He has been able to, to find the strike zone with that pitch this evening. It runs a count two and one. Jacob's on first. That's a just foul. Ball hit down the third base line. Just went foul. That runs a count two and two. Like he almost hit that off the end cap there. Yeah. Kind of out in front of it. Yeah, great placement though. Yep. And I had trouble written all over it. That ball stays fair. 2-2 two, two pitch. That curveball misses outside. Runs a count full. Three and two. That fastball foul ball. Flared out the left into the left line. field. Remains full. Johnson working a good at bat here. Staying alive on a couple of tough pitches. Curveball in there. Swing and a miss for... Yeah, that was located very nicely with two strikes. Already in protect mode. Is able to sweep it into the lefty's back foot. Yep. It's a tough pitch for a lefty yeah, to hit. It's a really tough it pitch. To it's executed nicely by Koloff. That brings up your designated hitter, Matt Altman. A one out. That swing and a miss. Lynn had a problem picking that up. A little curveball outside. Got away from him, but Koloff did a good job to help him out and come recover that ball. Yeah, Jacob's able to make it to second. And I've got a runner in scoring position with one out yep. for the Hurricanes. And Koloff calls Lynn up. I want to go back over probably sign sequencing here or maybe how they want to attack him, the runner on second. An 0 1 pitch. Swing and a miss. Yeah, I'm in up there trying to make something happen. He runs the count 0 2. Fastball runs high. One and two. That 
Curveball hits him in the head. Hit by a pitch there. That one started inside and just kind of stayed inside. It did. Altman didn't couldn't do much, try to get out of the way, but looks like the coaches are going to check on him. Yeah, it would kind of ricocheted off the top part of his helmet. Looks like it might have cracked his helmet. Yeah, he's going to need a new one. Don't really know what's going on there. IMG coach came out to talk with his catcher and pitcher, so we'll take a quick little break. We'll take a quick break, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. IMG coach came out and he questioned the umpire and thinking that Altman might have ducked his head in to get hit, but did not get that call. So he did get uh, rewarded first base. And that brings up your right fielder, Dominique Zito. So we do have runners at first and second. Still with just the one out. With one out. Zito eyeing that left side. That 0 1 pitch. Catcher couldn't quite catch a hold of it. Was able to move the runners around. A second and third, two in scoring position for Zito. You get these in, you got a brand new ball game. At least get the ball in the air to the outfield. That curveball missed, got away from Lynn. Jacobs was able to score. I believe he checked swing. And field umpire says that he did not go around, so we will have a 2-1 count. Jacobs did come in and score. 5-2 ball game. Altman was able to move over to third base. That curveball misses outside. Brings it 3-1. Runs the count 3-1. and one. Hitters count. That fastball catches the outside corner. Nice location there by Koloff. Work that outside. Got a payoff pitch. 3-2 pitch. That fastball misses outside and ball four. Zito walks. We'll have runners on the corner. One out, one in already this inning, too, for the Hurricanes. And brings up your number nine batter, your second baseman, Aiden Fox. Aiden can find some way to get on base here. You run around the top of your lineup, and you yeah, know the yeah, Hurricanes would be happy for that. Top of the order. Yep. That fastball misses high and outside. Yeah, again, good velocity. That from Koloff, Koloff has been having some really good velocity, but. Really hard um, time locating that fastball, at least early in counts. We've seen him be able to, to dial it in. And there's his best pitch again so far this evening, that curveball. Yep. He's been able to locate a lot. A lot better. He struggled early on, but here lately, he's really been locating that ball good. Curveball. Foul ball. Third baseline. Yeah, Fox saw that early. Tried to stay behind it and shoot it down the left side. That runs a count one and two. Runners on the corners. One out. Bottom half of the second inning. That ball's Line drive, hit off of the first baseman's hand, couldn't get to the ball. 
was able to score the run. We're gonna put a we're gonna put a hit in the books for that one. Yeah, and that gets was an RBI. nicely nicely placed by Fox. It will get an RBI in there. Runners on first and second. Kind of had Zito in no man's land there. If he catches that ball, it was going to be a hard job getting back to first. But it didn't. Got through. Bunt by Castellano over to first base, and he's safe. Koloff fielded that ball, and he took his time, and Castellano was able to get down you the know, line He did quick. place it really nicely there, too, kind of between the – the catcher and pitcher a little too far for the catcher to jump out and get it pitcher had to go a long way to get it trying to make an accurate throw but castiano is just too much speed getting down the line yep. that brings up your third baseman christopher bale that ball's low for ball one well, we got the bases juiced here one out one out one in already two in two this in inning. two in this inning Ball's foul out of play to the right side. It runs the count one and one. That ball runs in for ball two. Two and one. Bale walked his first at bat tonight. That curveball misses behind Bell. Yeah, curveball did not curve there. Lynn did a great job to get to that ball to keep any runners from moving. Saved a run for sure. So we got a 3-1 count. One out. Two runners in. Base is loaded. That ball misses high. Be an RBI walk. So RBI walk for Bell. And that brings, well, it looks like we're going to have a pitching coach is going to go out and visit with them. And while they do that, we'll take a little small break. For a new level of attention, insight, and capability, contact the trusted team at Nautilus Financial Group. All right, we're back here. Coach is coming off the mound. Had a little talk, trying to settle his pitcher down. Do have two runs in here on the on the inning. Excuse me, three runs in here in the second inning. Do have bases loaded, and that's going to bring up your catcher, Chris Rodriguez. Rodriguez paid his first at bat here. That curveball misses high for ball one. Got a 1 0 count, one out, bases loaded. That curveball had a swing and a miss by Rodriguez. The pitch looks so good as it comes in. And then just kind of falls off the table. So when he does locate it, he does a great job with it. And a 1-1 one, one pitch. That curveball just missed on the inside corner. It runs a count two and one. Again, we have bases loaded, three runs in, in the, on the inning here with only one out. So Rodriguez looking to get a hit or get a ball hit in the outfield to get her another run in. That ball's hit down the right field line and foul. That will even up the count two and two. That's a swing and a miss. Curveball on the outside corner. Yeah, maybe slider. There, big strikeout. Big strikeout for Poloff and IMG. There, yep. Really needed that. 
And that brings up your cleanup hitter, center fielder, Anthony Savarese. Savarese grounded out his first at bat. That curveball missed. Excuse me, that curveball was a swing and a miss. Yeah, swing, swing and a miss at that curveball. Yep. When Koloff really needs it, he's really been able to command that curveball and done a great job with it. Yeah, he really has. Got a 0-1 pitch. That ball misses way outside. Lynn gets to it, but not before Bell, excuse me, Aiden Fox, comes in to score and ties up the ball game Ties here. up this ball game. So that evens up the count one and one. Runners move up, got second and third, tie ball game, two outs. Curveball hit to second base, misplayed by your second baseman, DeGloro, and heads up play. Heads up play by Bale, was able to score that run, so. Great piece of hitting there by Savarese was able to get the ball in play. And yeah, was able to get inside of that ball, hit it sharply to second base. A little too much for Ugolaro over there to handle. And that'll bring up your left fielder, Keith Jacobs. Savarese steals. Lynn tried to throw it down, threw it over the top. Savarese was able to <clears throat> get into second safely. It was a called strike on that first pitch. That was a swing and a miss. Nice curveball. He was able to work a walk this inning, I believe. Let off this inning with a walk. That was a swing and a miss. Falls victim to strikeout here. But we'll move to the top half of the third inning. Bishop got two hits and six runs to take the lead seven to five. We'll be back in a few. been you know golf usually weekly play a lot with uh, my wife with the repetitive motion as you know with a lot of golfers it's an unnatural motion that you put your body through after suffering for years with shoulder pain Mike chose stem cell therapy as an alternative to surgery I'm just excited because patients that have been pain for years that are now doing the things that they want to do and Mike's just going to be adding to that list call aligned integrative medicine for exam and x-rays to see if you qualify for stem cell treatment All right, we're here in the top half of the third inning. Hurricanes came out came out firing there in the second inning, put up six runs, take a 7-5 ball game. And we're going to start out the top half of the third inning. Your right fielder, number 34, Scott Yang. Yang Cade, his first at bat. Looking to get in the hit column here. You got a rally going for the Ascenders. That curveball misses. Low four ball one. Had a 1 0 pitch. That ball tails inside, almost catches Yang. It runs a count two and oh. And that one misses 
for 3-0. and So here, quick here in the top half of the third inning, got a 3-0 count on Yang. So many three-ball counts this game so far. That's right. Able to find the top of the zone there. Brings it 3-1 to Yang. Pizzo steps off to reset with a 3-1 pitch coming to Yang. That ball hit through left field out to Jacobs. It didn't look like he had to move too very far. Was wow. able to record the first out of the inning. Good job, Pizzo. Able to get that fly out. Working hard to find the zone there. Be able to work the top of it and gets the first out of the inning. It brings up your second baseman, Brendan Ligorio. Ligoro. That fastball swing and a miss. Good location. Strike one. There's a bunt over goes Pizzo and called safe. Safe is the call. At first base. Good job, Pizzo jumping off the mound. Try to field that. That was a bang, bang play. We're going to give him a hit on that pitch, on that hit, on that, excuse me, on that bunt. Yeah, it was good location on that down the first base line. And that brings up your center fielder, Kenyatta Parker. He walked his first at bat. Trying to get on again. Retake the lead is IMG. That curveball misses just low. That ball low into the dirt. Rodriguez was able to keep it in front of him, but not before. Yeah, it kind of bounced a little too far away yep. for him to make a play. That allowed Yang to get over. Catches the zone. Brings the count. Two, two balls, one, one strike. One out. Runner on second. Nobody in this inning for IMG yet. That fastball runs in. Three and one. Swing and a miss there. Nice pitch. Stayed out, started outside and really stayed outside the whole time. Did a good job to get him to chase here. Or runs count, count three and two. So many three ball counts this game. Man, it has been a bunch of them. And a foul tip back. Keeps the count three and two. One out. And Ugaloria, that's second here. 
Ball down the third baseline, just fair off the glove of Bell. Able to score from second. So we get one of those runs back, yep. six. Parker did a great game. job getting that ball down the line. That's a tough play for Bell to make. Ball was and, hit um, sharply down the line right behind the bag. Did a good job trying to get there, just couldn't really corral it. And that'll bring up your left fielder, Sebastian Perez. One out, man on second. Times called by Perez. Yeah, Perez had a big, big hit earlier in the game. Drove a run in. He did another hit just over the top of Castellano out to left field. Parker was able to make it to third, but he had to kind of hold up there. He did. Not knowing if Castellano would be able to catch that, so he was able to get to third base advance with one out. Jacobs got that ball in quickly, too. Held him to a single and held him up on third. That's exactly right. Got one out, so you still have a double play here. You would think maybe uh, Perez might be on the move here to try to keep that. But that brings up your shortstop, Brody Welburn. Runners on the corners. Yeah. And I think Pizzo. Yeah, I think thinking the same thing you were. To keep him at bay there at first. Produce a ground ball here and get out of this inning with a double play. Rodriguez goes out and calls a first and third play. So they're they're anticipating it as well. Welburn grounded out his first at bat. That's a foul ball out of play to the left. Oh, and one. One out. One run in here in the top half of the third inning. Pizzo back over to first base. Perez was able to slide back in safely. Really keeping tabs on him at first, trying to keep him close, knowing he has a double play in order here. Yep. He lays down a bunt. Great job right in, in front of, right in front of home plate. Great job. A little confusion, though. Looks like, Looks like Welburn. Welburn, he took off. Looked like he took off there to run, and then he stopped. I think they're trying to say the ball bounced in foul territory. Umpire didn't, but I didn't call it foul. He didn't call it foul off of the off of the the bunt. Rodriguez did a good job to go ahead and complete that play. Absolutely. And we'll wait to hear from the discussion here from the umpires on what their thoughts are. But if it does run stand, in. it will be two outs. We're able to get the runner over to second. R runner was able to get to second, agree. So it'll be second and third, two outs. It looks like they're going to have a talk with the head coach of IMG. So let's take a small break and we'll be right back. Five years, I haven't ran uh, because I just believed that my body was on the decline, that the pain that I was experiencing uh, was not uh, tolerable enough for me to go out and run. And, and the day that he adjusted me, I felt that relief and I felt like I could actually put on my cleats again. So they did record the out. Welburn bunted. And Rodriguez did a good job of going in and throwing the ball down. Yeah, Umpires conversed on it and um, 
came to the decision that's how it's, it's going to stay. Going to stay. So that brings us up to the top of the lineup. Angelo Nunez, he walked and grounded out his first two at bats. He's going to start some off with the outside fastball. Called strike one. So runner was able to move to second base. So we have runners at second, third, two outs. Nunez up, walked his first at bat, grounded out his second at bat. And he calls time. Trying to take advantage of this second and third opportunity they have. Yeah, they're really looking for some type of ground ball or line drive into the outfield. Trying to get, get two, two runs in. in here. That's a line drive hit to center field. In comes Savarese and records the out to end the top half of the third inning. So we move to the bottom half of the third inning. Bishop was able to, I mean, excuse me, IMG was able to put a run up, but we have a 7-6 ball game, and we'll be back in just a few. All right, welcome back and move to the bottom half of the third inning. We do have a pitching change for IMG. Number 23, Chris, Christopher Gist will be coming in, right-hander. Coming in, replacing Koloff. Koloff went two full innings, gave up seven runs. Somewhere around uh, 66 pitches on the night. So we're, we're going to have Johnson, Altman, and Zito. To start off the bottom half of the third inning. Your first baseman, Caden Johnson, he struck out his first at bat. And a ground ball to third base, over to first, and recorded the out. Quick out in the inning for Gist. That brings up your designated hitter, Matt Altman. Matt was hit by a pitch previously and actually had a cracked helmet. So he had to go get another helmet to be able to finish the game out here. So that ball was low for ball one. That fastball missed outside and low for ball two. Lynn goes out with Gist. A little quick talk. He's back. Altman's got a 2-0 pitch. That fastball misses low for ball three. So you would think here early in the in the inning. Coach Ducey's going to put a hold on a 3-0 pitch, don't swing, and 
That ball is low for ball four. So you get base runner here with one out. And that brings up your right fielder, number four, Dominic Zito. Zito walked his first at bat. Guess looks over and delivers. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Great swing there by Zito. Guess was able to get it by him, though. One out. 7-6 ball game. That fast ball connects on the inside corner. Four strike two. Guess got a quick 0-2 count here on Zito. That fastball. That fastball connects on the outside corner for strike three and a throwdown by Lynn to record. And out at first base. So that quick inning there by Gist will move to the top half of the fourth inning. 7 6 ball game. We'll be back in just a minute. so successful at Divinity Med Spa is because we understand what people are looking for. They want to look rested, refreshed, good for their age. We can accomplish this by treatments such as Botox, filler, lasers, and an array of facials, all by a team of trusted experts. This is Divinity, Hernando County's only locally owned and operated med spa. Come see us. We can't wait to meet you. All right, we move to the top half of the fourth inning. Got a 7-6 ball game. And the Ascenders bring up the number two batter, their first baseman, Roberto Godola. He walked and flied his last two at-bats. That fastball misses high and inside. Ball's hit. Line drive to center field. Over goes Savarese. Savarese had to go a long way to catch that ball, too. He, he kind, kind of had him shaded over first base side. But I was able to hang up long enough. He did a great job reading that. To get back over there and make that play. Yeah, that so ball tailing away from him, too, over towards left field. Quick one out. That brings up your number three batter, your catcher, Nate Lynn. Nate is two for two with a single and a double. He's oh, finding the zone there. He's hit the ball well here so far tonight. Looking to continue that. Yeah, he's two for two, I believe. That hard line drive to center field. Back goes Savarese. And a home run by Nate Lynn. Great job. Great piece of hitting. Dead center field. Savarese went back to try to get it, but ran out of room. Ran out of room. Needed about 20 more feet, maybe. Make a play on that ball. And Nate Lynn continues his hot streak. Three for three with a home run. 
Single double. He's a triple shy of the cycle. He's working on it. <laughs> this ball game. You know he'll be looking for it his next at Absolutely. Oh, great job, Lynn. Ties this ball so, game up. Exactly. If he right there tied the ball game up 7-7. Seven, seven, top half of the fourth inning. It brings up your designated hit, hitter, Trenton Lombardo. Trenton is 0 for 2 tonight. Had a fly out and a line out. That fastball misses high and outside for ball one. Yeah, when that ball took out, that yeah, Lynn he got hit, every. I was I, just at thinking first, about I wanted that. to say it. It looks like a home run, but you, know, you never know. You never travels. know. You never know how it's going to play, especially but, at night. Kind of cool here. In Florida, he, Central Florida. He hit so. it hard and traveled. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that ball just kept carrying and kept carrying. It did not die as it approached the outfield. Lombardo's got a 3-0 count. He takes strike one. Yeah, Pizzo able to get that pitch and break over the outside corner. It's a he runs strike. the count three and one. That's strike two called on the inside corner. Pizzo's done a good job here coming in here in the third inning. Well, all these pitchers have with their backs against the wall. They've yep. found ways to throw strikes. That line drive back up the middle. Over goes Fox. Just could not quite get a handle yeah, on it. Yeah, he not got it. He, he wasn't able to get it into the pocket, kind of fielded it off the heel, but he's able to keep it out of the outfield. Had to go a long way just to try to make a play on that ball. Now to bring up your right fielder, Scott Yang. Yang is 0 for 2 tonight. Strikeout and a flyout. And that curveball missed just low outside. Good action on that curveball. It's one of the best he's thrown. He couldn't get it for a strike, but really good movement. Broke sharp away from the righty. It runs a count one and oh. And that fastball missed outside. Great job by Rodriguez to slide over and block that ball up to keep Lombardo at first. Two old pitch. That That's a hard, hard line drive left to field. left field. And another home run by Yang to the left field. That'll be a two-run homer. And just when you you thought Pizzo was doing a good job of commanding and, and keeping the runs off the board, IMG's, IMG's done a great job here. Finding barrels. Between really driving Yang and, the ball. and Lynn, and they, they barreled the balls up and... That one was a no-brainer when it yeah, left the Yeah, oh, bat. absolutely. That was hit very hard. Jacobs turned, ran to a spot, but realized pretty quickly he was going to run out of run out of room. And IMG takes the lead here, at the top of the fourth with a three-run performance with your, just the one out. That brings up your second baseman, Brendan Yagurilo. <laughs> Sorry for the pronunciation there. Yagloro. That's a swing and a miss. Yeah, it looked like he was trying to take part in that home run party, too. That was a big cut. That evens a count one and one. So the Singers have put up three here with one out. Top half of the fourth inning. Hard ground ball over to Castellano, over to Johnson, and out for the second out of the inning. 6-3 put out there for the Hurricanes. Nicely done. We have a pinch hitter. We will update that lineup. Thank you. 
And Pizzo quickly ahead. 0-2. Oh that and and, ooh, just, just, just missed, missed outside. outside corner. That is a very fine line the umpire has for that outside corner. That ball misses just on the outside corner. Good block, corner. though, by Rodriguez. It runs a count two and two. Nobody on, but still. Give them some confidence in your pitchers. That ball misses high. Just high, too. That ball misses high for ball four. After getting him 0-2. Looks like we're going to have a like meeting we're have here. A meeting. We'll be back. We do have a pitching change here for the Hurricanes. It'll be number 10. Actually, his number on his jersey is 33. Uh, Jordan Comby. So just to kind of reset the game here, IMGA has done a great job here in this inning. Put up two home runs. Yeah, courtesy um, of the long ball, they were able to get they was able take to, back the lead. In order to plate three runs here with uh, only one, excuse me, two outs in the top half of the fourth inning to reclaim the lead at nine to seven. And we do have uh, Corlu will be the is the runner after just walking at first. And our batter will be our left fielder. Sebastian Perez. So Combi's going to try to come in here, Derek, and hopefully shut this down and get Absolutely. out of He's this in a good position. Run, runner on first, two outs. Um, not asking him to save the world here. Throw strikes, get out of this inning. Give his offense a chance to get out there and take the lead back. Now brings up your left fielder, Sebastian Perez. So Perez is two for two tonight. Three RBIs. That fastball misses low. He had the bases clearing double uh, that played at three runs in the first inning. Really broke that first inning open for IMG. Yep. So he's looking to stay hot. That foul ball off of the batter. Evens the count one on one. Looked like Curlew was on, maybe had a hit and run at that point because he did swing at it. Mm -hmm. Curlew was 
was running. So I imagine he put a hit and run there with a 1-0 count. Yeah, with two outs, trying to get that runner in. Maybe if he can find a gap, he's already got a full head of steam. Curveball hit down the left side. Great job by Bell over the throw to Johnson. And it pulled him off, but that was a great play by yeah, Bell great to, play. to get to that play. And, great play. Uh, couldn't quite make the play to first base. Kind of pulled Johnson off. Um, but phenomenal job. Just, yeah, getting I believe they would have scored a run close. potentially Absolutely. if he would have let that by him. So, so he has a three-hit ball game. And that brings up your shortstop, Brody Welburn. He had two ground outs. His last two, his first two at bats here. That curveball misses low. Yeah, good sharp break. It almost broke too much. Missed the zone. A two and oh. Ooh, that fastball caught the outside corner. Gets the call. Nice job, Rodriguez, helping his pitcher out there, getting he, that call. He must. He framed it pretty good because it looked like it was a little out, but he did get the call. 2-1 pitch. That ball's a little low. That runs a count 3-1. and one. Big hitter's count here. That ball misses low and outside. Now Welburn able to work the walk at the bases loaded with two outs. And that brings us back to the top of the lineup. Your third baseman, Angelo Nunez. Nunez is 0 for 2 tonight with a walk. Had a ground out and a line out. But he's got bases loaded, two outs. Already got three in this inning. Looking to add to that. That fastball misses low. One and oh. Foul ball out of play. Evens account one and one. Swing and a miss. Yeah, it swung right through that outside fastball. I believe I throw it again. Absolutely. And he did. Fouled out of play to the right. Kind of stay one and two. Curveball. Fouled out of play. And yeah, Nunez doing a good job fighting off some good pitches. There stayed right with that curveball. Saw it was going to be a strike, did what he could to fight it off. Maybe get a better pitch here. Drive a run or two in. Ball's hit foul. Johnson's over to make the play, and he did. So that would be a fly out to first baseman out of bound or in foul territory. But that was a good inning by IMG. We played it three runs on four hits, two home runs, 9-7 ball game. We'll be back for the bottom half of the fourth inning.
Welcome to the Clubhouse, Tampa Bay's premier baseball and softball training facility. Our 11,000 square foot training facility features rentable cages and bullpen lanes, along with the newest technology such as Hitrax and Rapsodo, baseball and softball pitching machines, full gym and plyo area, all to keep you at the top of your game. We also have a fully stocked baseball and softball pro shop carrying the biggest brands such as Marucci, Rawlings, Easton, DeMarini, Wilson, and many more. If you're in need of training, we also have the area's top professional instructors offering hitting, pitching, fielding, and strength instruction for both baseball and softball players. From youth to professional athletes, the clubhouse has you covered. We are conveniently located one mile east of the Suncoast Parkway on Spring Hill Drive. Stop in and check us out. All right, we're back. Bottom half of the fourth inning. Christopher Gist is back on the mound for IMG. Came in in relief last inning and did a good job. And that brings up your number nine batter, second baseman, Aiden Fox. Fox had a hit with an RBI. And his first at bat. And Lynn goes out to visit with Gist for a quick second. Make sure they're on the same page. That fastball misses low for ball one. Fouled out of play. One and one. Ball hit the first base. Over goes Gist. And great play there between yeah, Godola good job and jumping off the mound by Gist. And Godola over there yep. fielding his position nicely. That brings us to the top of the lineup. Your shortstop, Giovanni, Cast Giovanni Castellano. He walked and had a hit his last at bat. Ball's outside for ball one. And fast ball low. So Two again, and oh. Good, good velocity at a guest. Just like Koloff, just having a hard time locating that fastball. That fastball connects. Yeah, he's able to find that on the outside corner. The outside part of the plate has been open for for this umpire today. He's not been afraid to call those outside pitches. That one fouled straight Foul. back. Straight back at us. Yeah. That runs the count. Two and two. One out. Top of the order, Castellano. Ball misses low. Runs a count full. Got a payoff pitch coming with one out. And runs that ball in for ball four. Oh, one out walk. That brings up your third baseman, Christopher Bale. He's had two walks tonight. 
one of those resulting in an RBI. Yep. And a bunt down the first baseline. Great job by Gist to get off the mound. Fiddled that in a hurry as Bell was busting it down the line too. Not just taking it for a sacrifice, trying to get on himself. To bring up your catcher, Chris Rodriguez. Rodriguez has struggled tonight at the plate. Got two strikeouts here. He'd love to get him a hit in the books and get a run in, maybe. Try to get this run in, hopefully. A swing and a miss. That was a healthy cut there at that fastball. Located nicely by Gist. Lower part of the zone. Fouled out of play. Runs a count 0-2. Had two quick strikes, the hurricane catcher. Time to choke up and Let's try to pop one somewhere. Try to put the ball in play here. Castellano steals and fastball came in on Rodriguez and hit him in the arm. That did not that did not feel nice. Sure, that was a, Gist throwing that was a pretty dead pretty fast heavy ball. fastball. He took it right to the body. Looks like it might have caught him in his left bicep. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the good thing hurt. is is he's a catcher, so they've got a courtesy runner courtesy for him. runner in. That's a bring up Anthony Savarese, center fielder. And we will have a courtesy runner for our catcher, Rodriguez. Be number 37, Elvis Quazeda. Savarese comes in on a ground out and reached on an error to second baseman earlier in the game. Got a quick 0-1 count. Fastball catches him in. Over to Gist and record the third out of the inning. Threatened, but aren't able to get any. Yep. So we move to the top half of the fifth inning. 9-7 IMG over Bishop. We'll be back in a few. Preparing for that next step in life isn't always easy. At Nautilus Financial Group, our combination of experience, professionalism, and access to a wide variety of products and services to help meet all of your financial goals. For a new level of attention, insight, and capability, contact the trusted team at Nautilus Financial Group. When you play football, you develop this mentality that, you know, you can uh, withstand anything. You, you're Mr. Tough Guy. Uh, so years I had been battling. I was just excited to finally meet someone who knew what I was going through, who saw my pain, to think that in a matter of one treatment, and it got better and better as I uh, began to get treatments throughout the month. You know, why would you deal with this pain for another day? 
Oh, Combi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in. All right. We're moving to the top half of the fifth inning. IMG not nine to seven over the Hurricanes. Got Jordan Combi that came in in the last inning to shut down the three run threat. Two home runs that IMG put up. Yeah, they were very aggressive with the bats their last time up. Yep. And that'll bring up our first baseman, Roberto Godola. He is 0 for 2 tonight with a walk. Combi still pitching in relief. Third pitcher this evening for the Hurricanes. Fastball missed on the outside corner. Far ground ball. Castellano comes up with it. Over to Johnson to record the first out. Yeah, six three there on that put out. That ball was scorched though. To Castiano. Nice job that young man handling it and you're gonna sharp throw to first to get the out. And guess who's up? Your catcher, Nate Lynn. Looking for a triple. He is three for three, got a single, a double, and a home run. So how he would love to Get a ball in the corner and potentially get him a triple for the cycle here. But he is hot so far. That ball is hit foul. Into the dugout on the first base side. I thought maybe it was going to hold up where Johnson or Rodriguez could get Yeah, just a little to too it. much carry out. And the Hurricanes would love to see him to get sat into down. The dugout. So... Lynn got lucky on that one. He can yeah. stay alive here. Just goes down as a strike. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Great curveball yeah, there by really, Combi. Really nice curveball by Combi, able to pull the string there. And got Lynn well ahead of that pitch. Another Tries it again. Ball. He's not willing to chase the second time. I imagine you're going to see a heavy dose of curveballs here. Nothing's going to be yeah, not a tremendous uh, in, in the of, zone. It's right, going to be all right. around the zone, especially with a one-two pitch. Again, another curveball. Evens it count two and two. At this point, you would take a walk if you were the Hurricanes. Absolutely, that's a win in their book. Woo, fastball on the outside corner called strike three. Great job by Combi to come back with a fastball. Yeah, great call by Rodriguez. Way to hang in there on the outside part of the plate. Again, we've talked about it. No one has been open this evening. And took advantage there. Located very nicely by Combi. They get two the outs here in the end. Really needed it, too. He's been a dangerous hitter tonight. He has been. That brings up your designated hitter, Trenton Lombardo. Lombardo. It's called strike. Lombardo is one for three tonight. A fly out, line out, and a base hit. That fastball on the inside corner for a quick 
0-2 count. That Ooh. fastball just missed. Just, on the mi inside just missing on the inside corner. It looked like maybe a two seam. He was expecting to cut back arm side on him and just did not come back. That fastball missed low. But even to count two and two. Two outs. Nobody on. And that not able to get inside too. Get that inside corner the way you're able to get the outside this evening. Looks like Rodriguez was set up outside and mm -hmm. the ball came inside. Yeah. So a little deceptive difficult too. to get that call from the umpire. Hard ground ball past the first baseman to the right fielder Zito. Great piece of hitting. Yeah, absolutely, by Lombardo. by Lombardo. Got that barrel out early. Able to sweep it past the diving Johnson at first. And that brings up your right fielder, Scott Yang. Scott is one for three with a home run, his last at bat. Two RBIs. That ball misses low and outside for ball one. Got a strikeout, fly out, and a home run. That fastball missed low, two and oh. Yeah, Cumbie's done a nice job in relief. Really throwing strikes here. Being aggressive against these IMG hitters. That fastball connected for strike one. Yeah, it looks like he maybe has a, a four seam and a two seam from what it looks like. He has one that stays a bit straighter than another. And that one he was able to tail back in on the outside corner. That ball runs low. Three and one. And again, another three ball count in this ball game. Line drive, left field. Yang stays hot tonight. Goes two for four. And that'll bring up your second baseman, Brendan Ugaloro. Looks like we're going to have a pitching coach from the Hurricanes go out to visit. So let's take us a small break, and we'll be right back. Meeting on the mound has adjourned. Coach Burroughs is headed back after a quick talk with Rodriguez and Combi. Got a 3-1 count. Pop fly hit to right field. In comes Zito, but Aiden Fox does a great job of calling him off to catch that third out of the inning. So we'll move to the bottom half of the fifth inning. 
9-7 ball game. We'll be back in just a minute. One of the reasons we've been so successful at Divinity Med Spa is because we understand what people are looking for. They want to look rested, refreshed, good for their age. We can accomplish this by treatments such as Botox, filler, lasers, and an array of facials, all by a team of trusted experts. This is Divinity, Hernando County's only locally owned and operated med spa. Come see us. We can't wait to meet you. All right, we're moving to the bottom half of the fifth inning. It brings up your left fielder, number two, Keith Jacobs. He walked and struck out. He's 0 for 1 tonight. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. It's free for you and helps us as well as send us a like. Fastball low for a ball one. Another fastball low, ball two, two and oh. Yeah, missing outside with those fastballs too. Low and outside, just ripping it across his body instead of working straight towards home plate. 3 and 0 oh. <clears throat> That fastball misses outside ball 4 four straight outside fastballs Brings up your first baseman Caden Johnson Hayden is 0 for 2 tonight. Got a strikeout and a ground out. Nine seven ball game. The home half of the fifth. Guest had a pickoff first. And Jacobs kind of caught it on the elbow, it looks like. Jacobs was ready to get back in, but I believe the ball maybe bounced off his arm, like you said. That fastball connects inside corner for yeah, a call strike one. Maybe having a lefty in there help him to not yank that ball. Lacrosse brings a little closer to the plate. The ground ball it's gonna get gets through. through. Five six hole to left field. Great piece of hitting there by Caden Johnson. Yeah, nice job. He's taking that pitch where it was, shooting it the other way. That gets two runners on with nobody out. Shortstop brings kinda... up your designated hitter, Matt Altman. Yeah, I had the shortstop Welburn kind of pinched up the middle a little bit for a double play. And he was able to get it through that big hole left on the left side of the infield. Altman is 0 for 0 tonight. Hit by a pitch and walked. He'd love to have another walk right here. Get these bases loaded up. That fouled out of play. Aggressive on that first pitch. Looking outside fastball. Got it. Try to do something with it. Punch it down the right field line. Oh, 
Got to turn around and squirt around the bunt. So he squirted around the bunt. Lynn actually tried to back pick Jacobs at second base. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe the ball hit the base. It hit, hit the bag. Squirted it out in left field and allowed the runners to move up with nobody out. Yeah, aggressive so, read there by Jacobs. Plays having him right in front of him. Just what the Hurricanes just what the Hurricanes wanted here. A swing and a miss. But what better way? And you know, he they I think the Hurricanes were looking to sacrifice Altman yeah. to get the runners over, but now they got him over and he's still at bat. So we got zero outs and looking to do some damage here. Yeah, second and third, nobody Base hit, out. ties it up. A one-two pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike kind of had three. Him tied up. Inside curveball. Couldn't do much with it. Great pitching by Gist there. Brings up your right fielder, Dominique Zito. Zito's 0 for 1 with a walk tonight. Struck out his last at bat. That ball misses low and inside. Right now, if you're the Hurricanes, you just want to get the ball in play. Yeah, yeah, push something, make something happen. Love to try to get the ball somewhere to the right side to be able to get this run scored from third for sure. Or ball in the outfield. That ball misses low for ball two. Two and zero to Zito. Who did work a walk his first time up. Ball right up the middle. Going to squirt. Great play by your shortstop Welburn. I had no idea that he could get there. But a phenomenal play there and was able to record the out. Yeah, Great pretty job. much from the grass behind second base, he yes. was able to, to get Zito hustling down the line. But he was able but to get a run in. Zito was able to get a run in, so great piece of hitting there. Like we talked about earlier, it's a 9-8 ball game. It brings up your second baseman, Aiden Fox. He squared around a bunt, pulled back. For ball one. Fox made that great play the last inning to get the Hurricanes out of the inning there on that short pop fly to right field. A swing and a miss. I was just able to catch a piece, but that was about it. Even to count one and one, Zito was able to get a run in. As well as get a runner over to third base. That fouls out of play. It runs a count one and two. Two outs. Runner at third. Base hit ties this game up. That fastball misses outside. Evens a count two and two. Two outs, one in, one on. This inning for the Hurricanes. Base hit will tie it up. Pop fly. Back goes Nunez. And a great job of retreating and recording that third out of the inning. Yeah, he had to backpedal a long way to get there, but he did. We move to the top half. Move to the top half of the sixth inning. Bishop able to plate one run. A 9-8 ball game. We'll be back for the top half of the sixth inning.
All right, we have a pitching change here in the top half of the sixth inning. The new pitcher for the Hurricanes will be number six, Matt Altman. Matt's been the DH this evening, so pitching coming in. At that point, he would burn the DH spot. So that brings doing. up your center fielder, number 12, Clark Corlew. Yeah, Combi did a nice job in relief for the Hurricanes. He did. I think he pitched two and a third, maybe? Yeah, somewhere somewhere um, around there. He did give up a couple of home runs there, but uh, he was able to settle in and yeah, he keep was, this game close. We're he was here. all over the strike zone, too. Yep. Got a 9-8 ball game here in the top half of the sixth inning. That foul ball out of play. I started him off inside fastball. Yeah, Curlew, he had a couple of uh, pitch runs. He was a courtesy runner a couple of times, and they inserted him here in the lineup. That fastball connects for strike two. That's nice. curveball, strike three. Yeah, it gets him looking on that curveball. Really just froze him. Seen nothing but fastballs up till then. Brings up your left fielder, Sebastian Perez. Three quick pitches, three strikes. Yeah. One out. That's a line drive to left center field. Back goes Savarese and a home run by Sebastian Perez. Yeah, he took that. He threw that fastball right down the middle and Perez deposited it over the left center field fence. Perez is actually with that home run. He is four for four with the home run. Four RBIs. Great job by Perez. Now we have a 10-8 ball game. Now he's he's responsible for half of those runs driven in for IMG tonight. And that brings up your shortstop, Brody Wilburn. He's 0 for 2 with two ground outs. And a walk. He runs the count one and one. That fastball missed on the outside corner. Two and one. Right, that ball was not missed by Perez. No, it was, it was not. an inner third. Uh, caught plenty of plate and. He was ready for it and lined that over the left center field fence. Swing and a miss. Even to count up two and two. Yeah, Perez sat on that fastball and he Did launched not miss it. it. That ball missed just. Inside? Had to be low. I don't know that it was inside. <laughs> but again, I think that's a play where Rodriguez is sitting on the outside yeah, and yeah, the ball comes on the inside body. and uh, good umpires are not going to give you that call. That's swing a swing and a, and a miss on a full count. Two strikeout. And brings us back to the top of the lineup. Angelo Nunez. 
Angelo is 0 for 3 tonight with a walk. Ground out, lined out, and flight out. And he looked to square around the bunt, pulled back, called strike one. All he needs is the strikeout, and he's got the uh, out cycle. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That ball's high for ball one. Yeah, the way Altman's pitched since he's come in, he's it's a non-zero chance that happens. Curveball connects for strike two. It's a very firm curveball he, he threw there. Got a lot of spin on it. And that line drive to right field. Great piece of hitting there with a absolutely one two count. Singles to right field. That brings up your first baseman, Roberto Godola. Godola, like Nunez, is 0 for 3 with a fly out, a line out, and a ground out. And a walk. And a walk. So. That fastball connected for strike one. We're in the top half of the sixth inning, 10 to eight ball game. Swing and a miss for strike two. 0 oh, two, two outs, runner on first, two run lead for IMG. Getting late in this ball game now. Adola cost time. Altman took a little bit longer time than what he wanted, so yeah, a little cat and mouse here. Yep. Fastball misses. Throw down. Gets by. Fox. Hey, he was trying to glove, glove and swipe in one motion and just missed the ball. Nunez thought about running the third, but Savarese coach, came in from center and was able to cut that off Third base coach quickly. held him up. Yeah. Yeah, you generally don't want to make the last out at third. That's correct. Coming from second, you already have a runner in scoring position. Two outs, ball in the outfield. You have to imagine he's going to score anyway. That line drive, Let's base hit out. into the left field, left center. Around comes Nunez to score. And a he great does piece indeed. of hitting by Godola. Yeah, they're just banking these hits. Now, IMG. That brings up your catcher, Nate Lynn. Triple away from the cycle still. Yep. Nate is three for four. He struck out his last at bat. That curveball misses. One and oh. IMG's got two runs here. Looking to get a couple more insurance runs before we get too far into this sixth and seventh inning. That fouled out of play to the right side. Evens the count one and one. Altman came in early with three pitches and one strikeout, mm -hmm. and since then he's struggling a little bit. Not so much struggling. He's he's getting the ball across the plate, but IMG's done a great job making yeah, the contact and had a couple of good hits here. A couple of opposite field hits to, and then uh, that big bomb. To continue the, the threat here. That fastball misses. Snap throw down to first. And... Godola was able to get back in. Oh, 
It runs a count three and one. That's a dangerous count to what's already shown to be a fairly dangerous hitter. And he gets a swing and miss off of him, though. Great pitch. Looked like a fastball, but the way he swung, it might have been a changeup of some sort. Yeah. But nevertheless, it is a 3-2 count here with two outs, so your runner, Nadola, should be on the move. That line drive down the third baseline. Round comes Godola. Jacobs was able to get the ball in. The relay is not in time. And Godola scores. And Lynn circles around to third base. So that would be recorded as a double. And... Advanced on the throw. Advanced on the throw. How much he would love to have a triple yeah, right now. Absolutely. But, absolutely. We'd love to be able to give it to him too, but. But great piece of hitting. Absolutely. Um, two outs three, just two trying count. to protect. So that runs the three runs here in this inning. And it looks like we're going to have a meeting at the mound with Coach Ducey, so we'll take a minute. We've been so successful at Divinity Med Spa is because we understand what people are looking for. They want to look good for their age. We can accomplish this by treatments such as Botox, filler, lasers, and an array of facials. Hernando County's only locally owned and operated med spa. Come see us. Yeah. All right, meeting at the mound has concluded. Altman will stay in. I think Coach Ducey told him just to settle down. We got two outs. Let's get this batter. Absolutely. And for IMG, it brings up your designated hitter, Trenton Lombardo. He's had, uh, he is two for four tonight. Two base hits, a fly out, and a line out. That's a call, strike one. Fastball swing and a miss. Yeah, nice location there. Inside fastball kept it low. Right below the hands. Hard pitch to get to for Lombardo. Swung over the top of it. Got a quick 0-2 count here. Wasted a fastball outside. <coughs> Great job by Rodriguez to keep that Absolutely. ball in front of him. Keep that runner on third. Hey, good pitch by Altman to try to get him Lombardo to chase, but Rodriguez had to do a little work himself to keep that runner at bay at third base. Fouled out of plate to the right side. Keeps the count at two and two. Ball misses really low. Really good take there by Lombardo. Good take and a good pitch. Yeah. From from both sides of it. Absolutely. Works Runs a count, count three and two. Two outs. That fastball misses on the outside corner. That'll bring up your right fielder, Scott Yang. Scott Yang is two for four. Home run, base hit. Strikeout and a fly out. Got two, bar, two RBIs on tonight. So we got runners on the corners. Yang at the plate. Two outs. 
Top half of the sixth inning. Yeah, and Altman just had the last hitter, 0-2. And was able to come back and work a walk. That is true. And he had uh, two strikes on Lynn as well before he hit that RBI double. So he's doing a good job getting ahead in the count. Runner just not able to, to, go. to put him away. 1 and 0. Hard ground ball over to Castellano and over the head of Johnson. Runner was able to score. The runner was able to score. So let's get set here. Had a hard ground ball by Yang to Castellano. Made a throw high to first base. Allowed to run to score to make it 13 to 8. They threw the ball down to second base to try to get Yang. And I believe the runner called time. They tried to make a play at home, which they did record the out, but the field umpire had called time. And so we reset now. So we bring up. Second baseman, Brendan Galoro, with two outs, runners on second and third. Altman quickly ahead, 0-2 to the second quickly baseman. Quickly 2 Kind of a crazy thing that happened there. Foul ball, hit him in the box. Keep the count 0-2. Brendan is one for three tonight with a walk. That curveball misses just on the outside corner. Just outside. Uh, that, was, that was a wild sequence of events there. It was. That curveball misses. Missing inside, missing outside with that curveball, really not trying to give him anything over the plate. Fastball hit. Gets through on a dive by Bell. In scores two runs. And the runner's trying to score from third on a bad throw, and he scores. I believe I believe that was the uh, that was a hitter. Ugolaro ended up coming in. They get three runs on that. So Galoro, Ugolaro records a hit, and after a couple of. Is that errant throw errant there? throws, I agree there. Uh, runners were able to move around, and they actually plated three more runs. Brings the lead 16 to 8. To take a 16 to 8 lead. And it looks like we're going to have another mound visit. We'll step aside here, and we'll be back after this.
preparing for that next step in life isn't always easy. At Nautilus Financial Group, our combination of experience, professionalism, and access to a wide variety of products and services to help meet all of your financial goals. For a new level of attention, insight, and capability, contact the trusted team at Nautilus Financial Group. When you play football, you develop this mentality that you know you can uh, withstand anything. You, you're Mr. Tough Guy. Uh, so years I had been battling. I was just excited to finally meet someone who knew what I was going through, who saw my pain, to think that in a matter of one treatment, and it got better and better as I uh, began to get treatments throughout the month. You know, why would you deal with this pain for another day? All right, welcome back. We're in the top half of the sixth inning. IMG has been able to put plate, I believe, seven runs here in the top half of the sixth to take a 16 to eight ball game. We have a new pitching change on the mound for the Hurricanes. It'll be number 37, Elvis Quazeda. He comes in and replaces Altman that came in and Pitched good early on and was able to make the good commands and was able to get the ball in the zone, but IMG was able to to um, square him up and uh, they put the ball in play and had some hard hits and was able to get up seven runs here in this inning. So that brings up your center fielder, Clark Corlew. Struck out his last at bat. That called strike one. Swing and a miss, strike three. Well, that ends the top half of the sixth inning, but not before IMG plate seven, 16 hits, 16 runs, 16 eight ball game. We'll be back here for the bottom half of the, the clubhouse, sixth. Tampa Bay's premier baseball and softball training facility. Our 11,000 square foot training facility features rentable cages and bullpen lanes, along with the newest technology such as Hitrax and Rapsodo, baseball and softball pitching machines, full gym and plyo area, all to keep you at the top of your game. We also have a fully stocked baseball and softball pro shop carrying the biggest brands such as Marucci, Rawlings, Easton, DeMarini, Wilson, and many more. If you're in need of training, we also have the area's top professional instructors offering hitting, pitching, fielding, and strength instruction for both baseball and softball players. From youth to professional athletes, the clubhouse has you covered. We are conveniently located one mile east of the Suncoast Parkway on Spring Hill Drive. Stop in and check us out. All right, we're moving to the home half of the sixth inning. Brings up the leadoff batter, number 22, Giovanni Castellano. He's one for one tonight with two walks. Yeah, six outs and their work cut out for him here for the Hurricanes. Fouled out of play to the right side. Yeah, they do have their work cut out for him here. Six outs to try to get at least eight runs to tie this thing up. Ball misses outside. Evens a count one and one. <clears throat> it's a high fly ball to right field. Back goes Yang. 
to record the first out of the inning. That brings up your third baseman, Christopher Bell. Bell is 0 for 1 with two walks tonight. That ball misses high for ball one. That one misses outside for ball yeah, two. Just waiting for Guest to bring him something. He can try to hit and get on. There was one, took an aggressive swing at it. A foul tip. Runs a count two and one. <laughs> Hurricanes need base runners here. Ball is hit to the right side. Going Gonna foul. Be foul. Yang and Godola, Godola hustled to get to that, but couldn't quite make it. Yeah, there's a fair amount of foul territory here. There is a good bit of foul territory to both sides. So Park held it, but there was no way either one of them were going to make a play there. Good effort, though, both their parts. Would agree, great effort there. It runs a count two and two. Fastball, strike three on the outside corner. That brings up your catcher, Chris Rodriguez. Chris is 0 for 2. Two strikeouts tonight and hit by a pitch's last at bat. One ball misses outside for ball one. Two quick outs, though, for guests in the IMG. That ball misses low for ball two. Two and oh. Three and oh. That's a call strike. Yeah, watch his strike come in there, inner third of the plate. Hitters count. That ball misses outside for ball four. So the Hurricanes get a base runner here with two outs. They need more base runners, so... Brings up your center fielder, Anthony Savarese. A courtesy runner here. Not sure who that quite is. We'll have to take it. That ball shot oh, back up the middle. Line drive to center fielder. Great piece of hitting by Savarese there. Took the first pitch, lined it up the middle. Got to bring up your left fielder, Keith Jacobs. Keith is 0 for 1 tonight with two walks. Yeah, he's worked a couple of walks, come around to score, I believe, on one of those. Had a strikeout, his last at bat. Fouled out of play to the right. Runs a count 0 and 1. Runners at first and second. Two outs. Bottom half of the sixth inning. Here you go. Here we go. 
That ball hits on the outside corner for a call strike two. Guest is quick, 0-2 on Jacobs. That ball misses just outside and low. That's One and good, two. Good take by, by Jacobs. Jacobs trying to find some grass. Get that runner in from second. Fouled out of play. Keeps the count at one and two. Outfield does have him shifted the other way. The ground ball to... Over to Welburn and safe at second base was Savary. So we have bases loaded. Yeah, he was trying to go the short way to get it. Could not do it. Everybody's safe on that fielder's choice. And that brings up our first baseman, Caden Johnson. Johnson on the ground, ground right ball. side. Over goes Godola. Record the out. We're going to go to the top half of the seventh inning. 16 8 ball game. We'll be back in a few. <laughs> golfer been you know golf usually weekly play a lot with uh, my wife with the repetitive motion as you know with a lot of golfers it's an unnatural motion that you put your body through after suffering for years with shoulder pain Mike chose stem cell therapy as an alternative to surgery I'm just excited because patients that have been pain for years that are now doing the things that they want to do and Mike's just going to be adding to that list call aligned integrative medicine for exam and x-rays to see if you qualify for stem cell treatment Hey, welcome back, sports fans. We move into the top of the seventh. IMG with a 16-8 lead. And Perez stepping in, having himself quite the night. Four for four this evening. Number of RBIs. Trying to keep the hot streak alive here. As first pitch comes in, one ball, two, one ball, no strikes. Sorry, please disregard our, our scoreboard. We're having some technical difficulties here. We roll into the top of the seventh. The score is right, but the count and outs will be wrong. We'll try to keep you apprised as we go along. Nobody out. One and one's the count to Perez. Well, Perez has been hot tonight. I believe he is four for four on the evening. 
So looking to stay hot here in the top half of the seventh inning. Got a 2-1 pitch. Quazeda on the mound for the Hurricanes. Fouled out of play. Bring the count full. Runs the count full, three and two. Again, we apologize. I do have some graphic malfunctions here and not able to make the change. Oh, line drive. Left center field over goes Savaris. Perez is trying to go for two, and I believe he will get in safe. He will get there. So I believe, like I said, we don't have graphics, but I do believe Perez is five for five on the evening. Five for five on the night. Uh, so great job tonight on him getting the ball in play. Yeah, he's seen the ball real well this evening. I'll bring up the shortstop Wellburn. That's a line drive just got past Fox out to Zito. Over goes Perez. So we got runners on the corners with nobody out. I'll turn the lineup over for the ascenders. And it looks like we're going to have a pitch hitter, Charlie Flesh. Or excuse me, Charlie Lesh. Will come in to bat for IMG. Snap throw over to first base. And Wilburn able to get back. Call strike one. The ground ball hit the third base to record the out at second. Now one out in the inning, but not before Perez. Scores to make it a 17 to 8 ball game. <laughs> that brings up another pinch hitter, number four. Oh, he Showy wears that one. Devarshi. And it looks like first pitch, he gets hit. So hit by a pitch. So that gets his runners at first and second. For the catcher, Nate Lynn, who's swung a very hot bat this evening as well. He has. So Nate Lynn up. One out, runners at first and second. Quazeda pitching. Hard line drive fly ball to right field. Great job by Zito to record the out. Yeah, he had to travel a long way, catches that ball he up against the fence. He got all the, the way fence. to the fence and was able to record the out. But not before Leash, Leash uh, was able to tag up at second. And get to third. So we have two outs. Runners on the runners corners. on the corners. One run in on the on the on the inning. And it brings up number twenty-eight. Trenton Lombardo.
And a snap throw over to first base. Runner safe at first. Fastball high for ball one. Runner knows the count. Two outs. Runners on the corner is one in for IMG this inning. Extending their lead 17 to 8 now. That fastball misses outside. 2 0. Oh. So, Cusato did a good job filling the zone to start this inning and in relief last inning. That fastball connects. On the Two inside and one. corner there. Foul ball out of play, back behind us. Evens the count two and two. <laughs> ball low, runs the count three and two. Make sure you stay with us tonight at the end conclusion of this game. Uh, Derek Smith will be announcing the Glory Days player of the game. And I know that there's plenty of uh, players out there that's deserving of it. So yeah, yeah, stick around and, and listen. Number, number of them in contention. This one high, but is going to make it out of play. play. Keeps the count three and two. Two outs. Run at first. Should be moving on the pitch. Yeah, you would imagine. Full count, two outs. No reason not to put everybody in motion here. Oh, foul ball out of play. Great job by Lombardo. To continue fighting. Yeah, battling here. So 3-2 again. Rosado versus Lombardi. The shot to left center. Back goes Jacobs. And records the out for the third out of the inning. So we move to the bottom half of the seventh inning. So Hurricanes... Got their work cut out for them. IMG was able to put up one insurance run. A 17-8 ball game. We'll be back for the bottom half of the seventh inning. been so successful at Divinity Med Spa is because we understand what people are looking for. They want to look rested, refreshed, good for their age. We can accomplish this by treatments such as Botox, filler, lasers, and an array of facials, all by a team of trusted experts. This is Divinity, Hernando County's only locally owned and operated med spa. Come see us. We can't wait to meet you. You'd probably be all right. all right. Yeah, we moved to the bottom half of the seventh. We do have a uh, pitching change. And let's see if we can find out who that is for IMG. Wearing number three. Um, I don't think we have him on our... Our lineup here. We have number three is uh, 
One roster shows Kenyatta Parker, so not quite sure that that is Kenyatta Parker. No, Kenyatta has been in. Um, that's, that shows his number on one roster. Another roster doesn't we, have it. So we don't have a we'll, number three. So we'll see if we can't uh, flag find out who down. this pitcher is here in the bottom half of the seventh inning. But so we have a pinch hitter here as well. Followed back out of play. Giordano, James Giordano, here to pinch hit. Holds off of a high fastball. One and one's the count. Again, we apologize. Our scoreboard having some technical difficulties here. Scores right, innings right, outs are wrong, and count is wrong. We have a one-one count. Nobody out. Bottom seven. Swings through that fastball. Brings the count one and two. All right, so on the mound, number three, Ray Bueller for IMG. Giordano fighting here. The Ray two Han strikes Bueller. battling. His number doesn't match the roster, so we do apologize for that, but he had come in here and uh, Bueller on the mound. Bottom half of the seventh inning to try to shut down any threat that the Hurricanes might have. Looks like we got a one-two pitch. And it was a ball. I peeled it down the first base umpire, and he called it a ball. So we will run the count two and two. <clears throat> So that one kind of flared off the hands. Shortstop over, able up. to get over, get that out. The one out in the inning. It brings up a pitch hitter, number 30, Owen Anderson. Fastball misses on the outside corner. Try to give a little extra juice on that one, did Bueller. One out, bottom half of the seventh inning. That ball missed just low. Runs a count three and oh. Excuse me, two and oh. Two oh. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Bases Runs a count, count two and one. Fastball tails. Inside. On the inside corner. Runs a count three and one. Hurricanes need base runners here. Absolutely, they do. There's no... Uh, and lots of base runners. Yeah, there's no nine-run play here. Catching the outside corner. Brings it full. Great maybe pitch a, by Bueller. Maybe a record for, for full counts this We've evening. We've seen a bunch of them tonight. On both sides. Yes. Fastball. Get called. Strike three. Looking. 
two outs in the inning. That brings up another pinch hitter, Braden Savarese. Call strike one. Savarese evens a count up here, one and one. Check swing, foul to the right side. A one and two. One, two, two out. 17-8. Your score, bottom seven. Nobody on. A fastball misses on the outside. I spiked that one a little bit. Yep. Evens up to count two and two. Probably tried to put a little mustard on that one. Yeah, a little extra there. Yep. Two two pitch. Fastball high. Runs a count three and two. Yeah, just a little high. If that's a little lower, that's a that's a pitch that's been called to strike pretty much all the evening. A uh, good idea by Bueller. Work that outside again. Just missing though. That's a fastball on the inside corner. Strike three. So ends the ball game. Final score. IMG Ascenders, gold 17, Bishop 8. We apologize for the Glory Days player of the game graphics, but Derek, take it away for Yeah, we got, we got Sebastian Perez for IMG gold. Um, they had a great day at the plate. Five for five, three, four RBIs. Uh, came around to score a couple times himself. Um, really can't do much better than that. It, all said and done. So congratulations to him getting our Glory Days player of the game. A great job for Perez. So again, thanks for joining us. Final score, IMG 17, Bishop McLaughlin 8. And we'll see you next time.